What's up guys? We got a carrier unit here. Uh, the complaint was no condenser fan, it's a heat pump. There's a defrost controller. And I wanted to show y'all. Well, you gotta love that work ethic right there, huh? Instead of strapping the capacitors, they duct taped them and then laid a piece of rubber tech right here so it wouldn't touch against the contactor. <laughs> And then and, uh, instead of going to get the right capacitor, what they're doing is they're jumping from common to here and then hermetic to here to double the microfarads to pick up the right microfarads for the uh, for the uh, hermetic side of the capacitor. So we're going to plug the disconnect in. And now the fan's working. A minute ago when I unplugged it, when I left it on the defrost board the fan wasn't coming on so I removed the fan wire and put it on the contactor and the fan came on but something's wrong with that relay because a minute ago the fan would not kick on while it was plugged up into the defrost board. Alright we don't have a carrier supply house here in town so I'm waiting on my ICP supply house to call me back. He's going to cross the numbers. This is a 97 carrier he's going to try to cross the numbers and you know find me an equivalent I, uh, ICP defrost board from that era which will be exactly the same while I'm waiting on him to call I'm going ahead and getting this capacitor situation fixed out you can see right here this is the hermetic he's jumping and this is the common he's jumping and he's got 35 at 75 so with 35 and then a 10 here tells me that he's trying to get 45 microfarads to the compressor so we're gonna we're going to put a 4575 on here and strap it up the right way without rubber teching it to stop it from hitting the contactor so I'm gonna get started on that and wait for a phone call on the defrost board all right we got our new capacitor in there 45 plus 7.5, all strapped up, out of the way. Still waiting on a phone call. Alright guys, I'm back in the truck. Um, no luck on the defrost board. Nobody in town here has it, and we don't have a carrier store here. So uh, It did cross over to an ICM board, but nobody in town... It seems like everybody that handles ICM here has every defrost board except for that one. So, uh, probably just going to go ahead and call Carrier and get the OEM board since she's going to have to wait anyway. And uh, so we'll revisit this when I get the new board.